Self Sagas Part 2 God's gonna trouble the waters. Negro Spiritual Self waters royal are troubled still. Developments disquietude churning maelstrom somatic process simple self sense primitive percept instinct impulse involuntary urge discharge wet domain of child god type and set sonambulant ego generalized body feeling who fitfully dreams scourges the soul with whip like tail stirring up sediment leaving nothing settled or unchanged changing as well from limbic reptilian to linguistic self-sense beginning with a word then simple phrase a sound simple connection a bridge twixt primary and secondary process between parataxic and syntaxic beingness a chorus of cultural voices teach the ego to speak, to belong with simple words and phrases, to relate and order symbols and reference, speech and action, subject and object, according to culturally predestined logic and context, to construct out of simple words and phrases out of autistic and narcissistic language, a rudimentary time sense, a tense and tenuous self sense. Freed from a dark myopic present, the eye of the self separates, isolates, looks upon mortality, and is afraid. I want my mommy, daddy, it cries instinctively invoking the magic of fear, summoning the voices of ancestors. No necromancy this, no fervid conjuring of the dead, but introjected injunctions, prohibitions, and suggestions of flesh and blood parents, whose compelling voices, feelings, attitudes, and thoughts join other real or imagined person notions. In the context core of this young and uncertain thought self, this relatively direct or indirect object of verb and preposition, much more now, and who ask now, who am I? And later, am I that I am? 